Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about fishing down in Southern Baja, Cabo area, East Cape area. I've been getting lots of requests from you asking if you could only take one outfit with you, if you're only going to take one reel or one rod and reel combo, what would you take? And for me personally, what I like is something like this for 50 pound tests. I like to have like a 16S size, two speed. There's lots of reels like this, Accurate, Avid, Pen, they all make them. And I like something this size so I can hold it and cast with it. It still casts well and it, you know, it's really easy to work. Uh, underneath this, I'm going to have at least a hundred pound spectra. And then on top of that, I'm going to have 50 pound monofilament. And then from the monofilament to the hook, I'm going to have leader material. Now I normally want that leader material to be about eight to 10 feet. Usually, you know, in case the length of a Marlin, in case it wraps it around the tail or around the bill. You want a long enough piece that you don't have to worry about it breaking off. For that, if I'm strictly fishing like the smaller blacks and blues and lots of stripers and sailfish, I'm going to fish 125, 150 pound leader at the most. Probably 125 pound leader is my favorite. If I'm going to be fishing for the bigger blues and stuff, then I'm going to step up my reel, go a lot bigger and fish probably two to 300 pound um, leader material for that. Now for that leader material, you can go fluorocarbon if you want, but I usually don't. I usually just fish straight monofilament. And again, fishing 150 pound monofilament seems to work out really good. 125, I think I get more bites on it. And that's what I would put on top of this 50 pound. Again, the way you fish this outfit is the boat's trolling and a marlin comes up behind the lures. So as this is darting out of the water, we'll see a marlin come up. He may not necessarily strike, at the trolling lure, but he'll come up on it and sometimes they'll slap at it too. So when that happens as that lure is going across and the marlin's coming behind it, what we'll do is we'll have the crew or I'll do it. We'll wind these in really fast, get them close to the boat. And as the marlin chase that and come into the boat trying to eat it, we'll take this drop back bait and with this outfit with the 50 pound mono, 125 pound leader, take a live mackerel or ballyhoo, you know, connected to it and just drop it right back. That's why it's called a drop back. Keep your thumb on it, let the bait go back right to the fish. And as that lure comes in and that live bait goes back, that's when you get bit. Let the fish run like any other fish, but it's a big bait, we let it run for about five or six seconds. Put the reel in gear. And with this kind of outfit and monofilament, you get lots of stretch. So before you ever try to set the hook, just whine, 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 whine. When it's on there really tight and you feel the line coming off the reel, that's when you want to drive the hook in the fish. Don't make the mistake like I see happen all the time. People get bit, they just throw it in gear and try to set the hook. You're not going to catch that fish. So that's today's video blog. Just want to show you really quick the outfit I would take with me. And with lots of the rules now for air travel, it's a lot easier just to take reels with you. So sometimes I just take like two or three reels with me and just use the rods that they have on the boat. And as far as trolling lures, they have that on the boats down there. But if you want to take some, I really like the flatheads. The Zookers work really good for me. And they come in a variety of sizes and colors. I would have everything from a 5.5 to a 7.5, like this one. And they work out really nice. Again, the flatheads pop out of the water a lot. And I think you're going to get a bit more. If you're strictly going to target the tuna, you want to have some tuna lures with you. Probably some bigger ones too. But that's basically it. And check with the hotel that you're going to be fishing at, the different resort, if it's in Cabo or down the East Cape. I'm pretty sure they all have rods and reels available that you can rent. And a lot of the resorts now aren't even charging to use their gear because the airlines are charging so much to get the rod cases down there. So they all want you to come fishing, so that's why they're letting you use the gear for free. Well, for more information, more fishing tips, subscribe right here on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook too. Well, thanks again. I'll talk to you again really soon.